So since we're just having a little chit chat right now, we thought we would also talk about like the emotional side of this upgrade. We shouldn't talk about that. We I'm should. an emotional wreck right now. Let's talk about it. I think it's important. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Bye. Thank you. See you later. I'm so sad. <laughs> so tired. Our flight is at 4:40 a.m., which I think is the earliest flight we've ever had. I don't even think my body went into REM sleep last night. My alarm went off, and I was just like. Oh, flights this early should not exist. I don't know if I even want coffee. <laughs> I feel like it's just wrong in the middle of the night. I need to be sleeping. <sighs> oh, what a crazy 24 hours. It feels like forever ago that we were having that snowball fight with the two of us from Baghdad. <laughs> <laughs> and then we went to Saddam's palace and then we were at the most holy city in the Yazidi religion. Walking around barefoot in the rain. Then we went to see where the front line was with the fighting with ISIS. And we ate an entire fried fish wearing traditional Kurdish dresses. And now we're about to board a two and a half hour flight to Turkey. I'm very sad that we're leaving Iraq. I feel like my like mindset has like really shifted over the past like three days. So like when we first got here, I was like, Oh my gosh, we're in Iraq. We're in Iraq. Like every like, moment. That's what I kept thinking. Like, like, I'm like, oh, I'm walking down the sidewalk in Iraq. Oh, I'm eating at a restaurant <laughs> in Iraq. Like, it was like everything Iraq, Iraq, Iraq. But now, like, it just feels like any other country. The people here have been the nicest people in the world. I still can't believe it. We have definitely felt the most welcome here that we've felt anywhere. And even like our tour guide, like, he's a tour guide. Like, he interacts with tourists all the time. He did not have to let us sleep at his house and then bring us to the airport <laughs> at two o'clock in the morning. Like, who does that? More people should come here. I seriously, I think we booked three days here thinking like we'll get there and we'll feel scared and uncomfortable and we'll be glad like it's a really short trip. But I could have spent so much longer here. Yeah, I'm glad we came. Yeah, for sure. It was better than I ever could have thought. We're gonna sleep for two and a half hours on the plane. We made it. I forgot we needed a visa. Luckily, it looks like you can just apply and then download it, and you don't have to wait 24 hours, hopefully. This floor is very hard. Once verified, your application will be mailed to you within one hour. I got my visa, and then my phone died. My payment just went to a blank screen. Hi, we made it into the country. Now we just have to catch a bus to our hotel. On the bus. No problem, we've only been landed for the last three hours. <laughs> This bus takes another hour. And it's only like seven in the morning. The bed. Oh. We were completely useless the rest of yesterday, but we slept for a very long time last night, and now we're feeling great. We're about to head out for a big day, but we're not here in Istanbul to do the normal travel thing. Instead, this was just the cheapest place to stop over between Iraq and our next destination, and we just needed a few days to prepare. So even though we're not doing any actual traveling in Istanbul, we have a lot of exciting things to do today, but some of it might be kind of sad. started travel vlogging we used this camera for a whole year and now for over the last two years we have been using this camera the Sony a6500 and it has been so good to us Sadly, 
Finally, it's time to say goodbye today. How you feeling? Oh, I don't know. A mixture of emotions. I hate making big purchases because I get buyer's remorse like nobody's business. But at the same time, I'm so frustrated with this camera. We're currently testing to see if the crane that we've been using for the last two years can balance the Sony with the new 2.8 G Master lens. But I think it's going to be way too heavy. It's amazing this thing still works. Here we go. Can you see it moving? Oh, it's so cool. It's so much heavier on my shoulder. All our talking parts are going to be like 10 seconds now because that's as long as I can hold it. So one of the biggest things that was keeping me from switching to a full frame Sony was I didn't want to have one of the huge like 70 to 200 lenses because I don't want to carry a backpack everywhere we go and that's what you'd have to do if you wanted to carry that zoom lens. But it turns out there's something called the Super 35 mode on these new cameras and so you can use a crop sensor lens on a full frame camera. So we can still use the zoom lens that we have that has the wire zoom and then we'll use this is the lighting. That's the plan at least. So anybody who buys a new camera knows that it's a really big deal. It's a big purchase. But just the fact that it's what Nate has in his hand all day, every single day. So it's like buying a new thing that's going to be glued to my hand. Uh, so many decisions. <laughs> wow, so bad. That was a totally crazy experience. We're on our way to the next camera store. We walked by this alleyway that had like a billion people waiting in line for some kind of food hole in the wall restaurant. And so I was like, well, we have to get whatever this is. So I get in line and Nate goes to the next camera store to look around. So I just thought like I would be in line forever. Nate would finish, he'd come back and meet me. It took like two seconds. So while you're in line, you pay a guy and for however many you buy, that's how many bags he gives you. So he gave me two bags. So then I get to the front, and the guy is taking these wraps, throwing them down, taking the food, putting it on there, squirting the sauce, and before he's even done wrapping it up, he's like, man, bag, please! And I was like... Open, please. Open, please, madam. Thank you. Very thank you. Bye-bye. And they were only a dollar each. And it turns out it is the raw meatballs that we had on our food tour last time we were in Istanbul, which we love. So I'm so excited. Thank you. Okay, we didn't buy anything. The whole thing that like started this shopping experience was that this camera has really been acting up. Like for the yeah. past month, it's been like kind of breaking, but recently it's been like really broken. And so we just took that as an excuse to just go ahead and upgrade. We've had this camera for two years and the truth is we've been tempted to upgrade so many times because there's always something newer, bigger, better. And we know that the newest and the biggest and the best isn't always the right choice for us. Like you have to have a camera that works for you and this camera has really worked for us for two years. It's the camera that helps you tell the better story and because this one's like a little bit lighter, a little bit more mobile, it can we can capture more of the shots that we want to. And so even though it's been tempting for the last two years to upgrade, we've stopped ourselves because we feel like this is what works best for our style and for telling our story. And the truth is there's always a camera that's like, oh, we're coming out with this soon. And so we're always like, oh, we'll wait till that one comes out. And it just keeps <laughs> getting pushed off and this lens acting up just really made us realize like okay it's time but we're gonna sleep on it and revisit the camera store tomorrow it's hard to make like a five thousand dollar decision in like two minutes or an afternoon we've really been here all afternoon <laughs> okay after a good night's sleep we woke up with a lot of clarity and we knew exactly what we needed to do So today, we purchased the Sony A7 III and the Sony G Master f2.8 16 to 35 millimeter lens and the DJI Ronin S gimbal because our other one wasn't strong enough to hold this new camera. So a completely new setup, but that's not all. I need some help over here. We also bought oh, the DJI Mavic 2 Pro because we don't have ours right now because we shipped it home before we went to the Middle East and we really need a drone for where we're going next. Plus, I've been looking for a good excuse to upgrade to this one with a lot bigger sensor. But we also got one. Oh, it's just the, the fly more package for this. Two extra batteries. We pretty much spent all of our money today. 
that's really all. We didn't okay, get anything that's else. Okay, that's it. I'll scoot over <laughs> so you can come in here with me. Oh man, what a day. Oh wow. How do you feel? Oh, I don't know. So many emotions. Buyer's remorse. I'm just trying to think if I've ever spent that much money at one time in my life. How much was my wedding ring? I bought that costs more than your wedding ring. I've never told Kara how much her wedding ring costs, but that costs more than your wedding ring. <laughs> I bought a car with cash once, but I can't remember how much it costs. That probably just costs more than the car that I bought. Everybody tell them it's gonna be so worth it. We're gonna look so good be in better. our new camera. Be better. I feel like we should explain our thinking behind the upgrade. So yesterday when we left off, we were trying to decide like whether do we just buy a new lens for our old camera and keep using the same setup that we've been using for the last two years, or do we just like go the extra mile and upgrade everything like we've been thinking about for a Think while? With the extra ten miles. <laughs> That's kind of like my personality though. Like if I'm gonna do something, I'm gonna do it all the way. If we're gonna travel, we're gonna travel to a hundred countries. We've been asking ourselves why we wanted to do this. And we've been wanting to do this for a long time, but there hasn't really been like that push for it until our camera broke. So when we first started traveling, we had the G7X little dinky <laughs> camera, but we had never vlogged before. We had never told a story through video before, and it was all new and challenging and exciting. And after that first year, we had it down pat. We weren't really doing anything new with our videos. And that's when we upgraded to the camera that we have now, with just one lens and the stabilizer. And that was a whole new world. It completely changed our style. We were super challenged with all of our gear. I feel like we've been progressing in like our storytelling and like the way that our videos are structured, but we haven't had an upgrade in quality in the last two years. Like your editing's gotten substantially better in the last two years, but like we haven't upgraded the quality from like a camera standpoint in a really long time and we just felt like like we always want the next video to be better than the next and so it just felt like it was time you know we've been working on everything outside of the gear but now it's time to upgrade the gear we're really excited about this we think that it's going to give us a new energy in our video Definitely. you know like having all of these new toys to play with i think we're going to feel like we need to like live up to the quality not, not that we needed this to like still be excited about vlogging, but this like definitely moves our excitement level up several notches. Plus, we thought it's the beginning of a new year. We have so many awesome things coming up, especially this month. And if we were ever going to make the most of new toys, it was today. <laughs> so that's why we just did it. So I feel... Oh. It's not, it's not in the box. The camera's not in the box. This is just a prop. I, I feel like I really like the style of our videos right now and I didn't want that to change. And so like that was my biggest fear with upgrading this gear. Mm -hmm. But as long as I'm strong enough to hold the Ronin with the Sony on it, it shouldn't change the style of our videos. The quality should just increase. So that's the goal. Hopefully you won't see a big style change with this. Or maybe, I don't know. Maybe it'll change for the maybe. better. Maybe. But I really like what we have going right now. Yeah. So since we're just having a little chit chat right now, we thought we would also talk about like the emotional side of this upgrade. Before making videos was our job, before it's what we did every day for a living, we watched Casey Neistat and still do and find him very inspirational. And we remember seeing him crash his drone and being like, Oh, I gotta go get a new drone. And like, when bought a new one and replaced it, like right then and there. Who just goes and like, oh yeah, I just I need to go pick up a new drone. And then like, that's something that's a purchase I would think about for weeks. And then like, when we got our drone, oh, I I missed that in our timeline. Like, we got a drone at one point, and that really like, yeah, you know, changed things. We literally agonized for months on like, should we buy this drone? I think we waited till Christmas. I think because it was like that's when you get new toys. But like now this is like turned into work. So like if this if it seems completely crazy to you that we just like went out and bought thousands of dollars worth of new gear, we feel like it's crazy too. I completely <laughs> understand where you're coming from, but like we yeah, remember we that feeling, and it's still crazy. This feels completely crazy, but we look at it as like a business investment now. So here, here's the real problem now. This box, this box, this box, this box, and last but not least, this box. We have a carry-on and a backpack, and they're both already full. I don't know what we're going to do with all of this. 
I, be a fun I'm gonna driving. like just look like mega tourist getting on the plane. Like I'll just have to put the strap on. The, I'll have like four cameras strapped around me. And like, sir, why? Why do you have your drone strapped around your neck on a lanyard? <laughs> okay. I feel like this video is so different than anything we've shot yeah. in a really long time. But we started in Iraq. This <laughs> video started in Iraq like three days ago. This is like a really big step for us and it's like you'll see the changes so we just thought we should share with you. We never thought we would be in this life and we really are just super grateful that we're able to do this and that's how we should end this. Thank we should say you. thank you because without <laughs> you all watching these videos and supporting our journey there's no way we would have the money to go out and like buy all of this new gear like we were we're amazed that we can afford to keep traveling and making these videos much less go out and buy all this gear that's going to allow us to upgrade the quality of these videos so thank you let's open them up <laughs>、Sorry. Sorry, no, I don't know. I thought this was a walking road. So we're gonna eat. We're gonna eat. We're gonna eat. What? Hello. Hello. Lord? Hey, Michelangelo. <laughs> me, uh, Tony. Oh, I think he thinks you're Cristiano Ronaldo. What? We're having a great time. This doesn't hurt at all. <laughs> That's a very expensive thing you're balancing on your head. I thought it wasn't in here. Oh, I know what I wanted to say. At some point, we'll show you what it all looks like set up. But we have to be up at four tomorrow morning. Oh god! And we still have to figure out how to pack all of this. So, at some point, wow! Wow! I think this、uh, this case is gonna be left behind. Wow! Look at that. Wow! This could be the first Karen Nate unboxing video. Oh!